a.m. in Vienna. We are waiting three men to, to get to those podiums. Secretary of State Kerry, Iranian Foreign Minister Zarif, and a member of the IAEA to what we believe will be, say, it is Implementation Day officially, though there still could be a fly in the ointment. We have NBC's Richard Engel in that room, and as soon as those gentlemen take to that podium, uh, we will take you there as well. Meantime, joining me now, Joe Serencioni, President of Plowshares Fund, a global yeah. security foundation. Joe has been a proponent of the Iran deal right from the very beginning, and he worked for nine years in the U.S. House of Representatives on the professional staff of the Committee on Armed Services and the Committee on Government Operations. So you're a great guy to talk to about this, as we've done in the past, Joe. I want your reaction to the news out of Iran in terms of what this means for U.S.-Iranian diplomacy. Well, this is a great day to be an American. It's a great day to, to celebrate the news that we're hearing. Five Americans freed after being unjustly held and released as the result not of threats or coercion or military attacks, but patient diplomacy, particularly that done by John Kerry. So it's a good day. And it's the latest indication that Iran is beginning to moderate its behavior. So we've seen them now join the talks to end the Assyrian civil war, at least get a ceasefire. We've seen them quickly release Americans who drifted into their territory, mm -hmm. not have it become an international mm -hmm. incident, but uh, resolved within 15 hours. And now we see finally the release of these prisoners. You're starting to see the dots being connected mm -hmm. that the Iran nuclear deal is leading to a change in Iranian behavior. But Joe, I don't have to tell you that there are a lot of skeptics still out there. Uh, <clears throat> how, how much are you concerned that Iran's behavior modification, if you will, in order to get this implementation, implementation day uh, put, in, put into effect, you know, it's just for that, and that they're still maintaining a lot of other things that, that we would not like them to be doing? Look, we're never going to be best friends with Iran. We are adversaries. We have fundamental differences in the region. But you have to look at this Iran deal, and I've talked with you about this in the past, as a gateway issue. It was important in and of itself. Iran is now surrendering its nuclear weapons capability. Later today, we'll have verification that the complex has been largely dismantled. But you have to get through that issue in order to have conversations on the other issues of concern some of which where we have overlapping strategic objectives, defeating ISIS, stabilizing Iraq, stabilizing Afghanistan, ending the war in Syria. It doesn't mean those conversations are going to go well, but until you got the nuclear deal, you couldn't even have them. These indications just in the last couple of weeks are that they might be more progress on those area than, than we had hoped for previously. Certainly more to come in our discussion, Joseph and Sione. Thank you so much for scrambling and getting to the studio for us. We appreciate it. Thank you.